Now, investors in Hong Kong are also ready to buy into one of the year's most awaited IPOs, and no wonder, since billionaire entrepreneur Li Ka Shing is the brains behind this operation. Li's been nicknamed Superman for his knack for making lots of money. Kathy Yang has more on his latest IPO. These chimneys are the tallest structures in tranquil Lama Island, about 30 minutes by ferry southwest of Hong Kong. They belong to a power station that generates electricity for the city. And by all accounts, it's also about to generate a lot of cash for Asia's richest man, Li Ka Shing. An investment trust backed by Li is preparing an IPO, Hong Kong Electric Investments, the company that owns the Lama Island power plant. Hong Kong Electric is scheduled to list on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange by the end of this month. According to DealLogic, it could be the biggest launch since Japan Airlines went public more than a year ago. Uh, he may think that you know Asia market will be heading towards a downturn, and maybe with the asset prices has uh, reached a peak. And at the same time, you know, because uh, the Europe market and other countries are um, actually recovering. Li ka Sheng has been selling some of his properties in Hong Kong and on the mainland, then using the cash to buy telecom and utility assets in Europe. The moves have triggered speculation that Li was retreating from China, but he quashed those rumors in a rare interview with mainland media last month. Media reports say Li is also preparing A.S. Watson, the largest health and beauty conglomerate in Hong Kong, for an IPO in the first half this year. 85-year-old Li has diversified into tech and social media stocks, too, buying major stakes in Facebook, Spotify, and Sumly, an app developed by a 15-year-old that Yahoo wound out buying for $30 million. Li's venture capital firm Horizon Ventures confirmed last month that it had invested in Bitstrips, an app that allows Facebook users to create cartoons of themselves and their friends. All of Lee's buying and selling has helped his conglomerate Hutchison Wampoa close above 100 Hong Kong dollars for the first time in 13 years last month. And some analysts say the stock could set new record highs if the company manages to spin off its retail business. But first, Lee has set his sights on spinning off this asset on Lama Island's power plant beach, hoping to tap new sources of capital to power his global empire. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.